David Spears, civil engineering instructor at Texas Tech University, talking about CE 2301 statics, reviewing exam number three. Third problem was a machine analysis problem, which is a, a, an ice tongs that setup is like this, consists of two members. A, B, E, and C, B, D that pinch together and hold up this ice block down here that I've got drawn in green. Okay, we were given that the uh, the weight of the, or the mass of the ice block is 40.8 kilograms, so we need to convert that into newtons. It's 296 millimeters, and that's the same distance apart that these two forces that are exerted at points A and C on the ends of the tongs are and they're both given as P, the force P. I've got these vertical dimensions 328, 296 and you'll see that this one doesn't make any difference but anyway um, that's the setup and first part of a this is like machine simple machines are like frames you need to treat the whole thing as a rigid body and try to solve for some reactions if you can. On a machine, on this machine, those forces P are like the reactions and I have this known force, the weight of the ice block, 400 newtons. And so I just kind of treat it as a blob. I've got my supports P. I know their spacing and the magnitude of the supplied force. And so, um, by symmetry, I can say that those two forces are equal, or I could um, do a sum of moments about one point and prove that, but I assume that you can see that. Or also, I can say this is a three-force member, and all the forces either have to be uh, coincident, they have to intersect, or they have to be parallel to each other. So, all three of the forces, 400 and the two Ps, have to be parallel to each other. Anyway, I can, anyway you want to, I can get to it. Do a sum of forces in the y direction. I have 2p up minus 400 down. So p is 400 divided by 2 or 200 newtons. So that was an answer. And then I'm going to use that on my other free body diagrams. Second step in machine analysis, frame analysis, is to break the thing up into parts and pieces so that you can analyze them and get more uh, equations of equilibrium to use to solve it. So I break this up into really three free body diagrams. The two pieces of the two tongs and then the ice block. Um, I use Newton's third law and assume equal and opposite reactions on all the pieces. So I start kind of down here at the ice block because I know that it weighs or its uh, force is 400 newtons and so I want to assume forces on it exerted by the tongs and on each side I have an upward force dy or ey and notice how it's kinda inverted because of the way the tongs geometry works but anyway so I got dy dx and dy ey and ex so I can do the same kind of analysis I did up there for solving for P and I can get uh, what force dy and ey are. By symmetry they've got to be equal and half of the 400 newtons and in that direction up to resist the force the 400 newtons weight of the ice block. I don't know what ex and, EI, EX and dx are at this point yet but I can use these forces and the directions of them and go, go to my tongs and start writing these, direct, these forces with equal and opposite direction. Remember this point is over, really over here, this point is over here. Uh, so dx I've assumed to the right on the ice block so on tong I need to assume it to the left. Similarly I've assumed dy up on the ice, which it is by equilibrium so it's up on the ice block, 
so it's down on the tongs so I've written those in here done similar things over here on this side at E at pin B where the two tongs meet and connect with the pin I've just assumed them I've kind of uh, looked ahead and seen where I was going and so I assume them, I start off on B and I assume on a C, B, C, B, D and I assume BX the opposite direction of DX and BY the opposite direction of DY doesn't make any difference I just assume something and then I go to the other tong and I assume equal and opposite BY was up here so it's down on ABE it's to the right on this one so it's to the left on ABE and then I have my known force P up here 200 newtons so once I've gotten a good free body diagram I'm really on the way to uh, a good solution this is the key to the highway okay so the second number I want was asked for is the vertical component the force of the force that the ice block exerts on the tong at either D or E depending on which version of the test you had so I can let's look at um, uh, CBD from the free body of the ice block DY is I've already done this assumption DY is 200 newtons up so it's got to be equal to that on uh, the tong so dy is down 200 newtons same thing applies to tong abe at point e number three the vertical component the pin b exerts on the tong so um, look at it either way look at this tong cbd okay i've got 200 newtons down from d at dy 200 newtons up the force P so 200 plus or minus BY it doesn't make it I've assumed it up and on one and down on the other doesn't make any difference because 200 minus 200 is zero so therefore BY has got to be equal to zero part four the horizontal component the pin B exerts on the tong CBD and it works that opposite way on the uh, ABE but let's do a sum of moments. Finally, we get a beloved sum of moments equation. Sum of moments about point D. Okay, that eliminates DX and DY. And I've just found out that BY is zero, so this one goes to zero. So the only thing I have is this unknown BX force and the 200 newtons up. So looking up at the geometry here kinda of got cluttered so I didn't draw it up there I have negative BX because it's trying to rotate counter, uh, clockwise about point B point D times that horizontal I'm mean, that vertical dimension of 296 so negative BX because it's clockwise times 296 shortest perpendicular distance plus because it's trying to rotate counterclockwise, this 200 newton force about point D, and its dimension is also that 296. So rearranging that equation and solving it, the 296 is cancel, and I get that BX is equal to 200 newtons. The positive means my sine assumption was correct to the right on member B C B D and it's going to then be the opposite direction to the left on tong ABE finally I got the horizontal component the force that the ice block exerts on the tong at D so that's DX or EX on this other tong Let's just do a sum of forces in the X direction on this free body diagram all I've got is DX and BX and so BX I just found out is 200 newtons correctly assumed to the right on CBD minus DX because I assumed it to the left so DX has got to be equal to 200 newtons to the left and do the same thing on tong ABE and I see that EX is 200 newtons to the right